It's getting to be that time of year again. You know the time. When the windows get closed, the thermostat goes up, and the fireplace goes back into action. Unfortunately, it is also that time of year when the eyes itch, the nose runs, and the throat hurts. It is the same pattern every fall, year after year after year. The question is why, and do we need to keep this pattern going? The answer is indoor air quality, and the good news is that it can be fixed. There are five compounds to blame. Infectious illness, safety gases, allergens, microbial growths, and toxic compounds. As your house goes into lockdown for the winter, the concentration levels of these compounds increase due to the lack of air movement. The increase in compounds can cause congestion, sneezing, illness, fatigue, respiratory irritation, coughing, and asthma flare-ups, just to name a few. Thankfully, there are ways to help lower these compound levels and clean the air we breathe. First is air filtration. Moving air through filters can help reduce many of these compounds as they trap them inside the filters. However, there are some compounds that are extremely small that still may pass through some filters. Make sure you find a filter that is rated to deal with these types of compounds. The second thing to look at is ventilation. The question is, how can you ventilate air in the winter months without losing all of your heat? The answer is an energy recovery system. An energy recovery system takes old, unclean inside air and exchanges it with fresh, clean air from the outside. The old inside air and new fresh outside air pass through a heat exchanger where the heat from the old air heats up the fresh air as it enters your home. The new air is not only cleaner of compounds, it is warm and less humid, keeping your home warm and fresh. The third thing is a dehumidifier. Running a dehumidifier will greatly decrease the amount of water and moisture within your home. Reducing the moisture in your home will greatly decrease the environment that dust mites and mold like to grow and thrive in. Taking these few steps will help improve the air quality of your home. For more information and more ideas on how to improve your air quality, call the experts at Sandium Heating and Air Conditioning or visit them online.